Hello and welcome to Eurocharged Boston. Today we're talking about removing the ECU uh, in uh, 53 and newer 43 models. Uh, today we have the M256 engine, the newer generation straight six engine. Uh, you're gonna see it on most of the uh, entry level AMGs going forward, the 43 and all of the 53s. The ECU is either located in this area in some of the models or you're going to find it in the GT, for example, it's going to be on top of the engine. Uh, in this example, we're dealing with a uh, uh, GT53, uh, so we need to remove the engine cover to, to access the ECU. What you need to know is the plastic engine cover has one, two, three, and four mounting points. So what you need to do is you need to pry gently to get them to dislodge. And then what you could do to make things easier for you, the boot in here, is soft enough on newer cars, you can actually flip the cover without worrying about the, the boot dripping off. Uh, as of the time of uh, filming this, all of the cars are fa fairly new, so you can do that. Uh, in the upcoming years, I mean, we are in 2022 now, as these will get older, you're probably gonna rip the boot if you do this. So if you're watching this uh, video in the future, probably disconnect the boot instead of doing this. All right. Um, uh, moving on, the ECU is going to be bolted down to the, uh, the airbox with T uh, T30 screws. So you have one, two, three, and four screws that you need to remove in order to free up the ECU. Once you've done that, you can actually remove the ECU up and then unlock, uh, the, uh, the plugs. You have one, two, three, four, five, and six plugs. What you need to do is you need to, uh, as per usual, you need to unlatch the plug by pushing the button up here. And then swing the arm and that releases the plug. Now moving on, two, three, and so on. Uh, the process is self-explanatory to get all of them. Uh, a uh, word of caution when you put the ECU back in, it is very common on this uh, ECU style, is we get a lot of customers to try to put these back in and they accidentally do not insert one of the plugs all the way in. So one way to tell is you wanna make sure this, uh, the, all of the plugs align once they're in the locked position. Let me show you what could happen if you do not insert the plug properly and I'm sorry I'm filming this one-handed so that's why it's a little bit on the harder side actually let's try it with this plug let's say we put this in we start in this position for example and we lock it it did click it felt like it kind of went in but as you can see the plugs are not aligning and if you can see these bumps that means you're not all the way in. So the proper way to do this, to fix this problem is always swing the arm all the way, all the way out, okay? Insert the plug all the way in. Do not force it, but put it into, or, or stick it in until you feel resistance and then swing the arm. Once you swing the arm, you'll notice that the plug itself is moving itself in. That's when it's locked properly. Until it clicks, and you are back in now. And we can do the final plug. And the final word of advice is, notice that the arm is a little bit backward compared to the rest of them. So always keep that in mind. Always unlock it, push the plug all the way in, swing, click, and make sure all of these line up. Put the bolts uh, or the screws back in Put the uh, engine cover back in and you are good to go. Good luck.